Today we are going to use a completely different method than the previous one. Um, a method where we will be able to recover our device. Because I previously had a screen lock. And what we did was reset our phone. We formatted it because we had forgotten about that screen lock. But now that our device has just restarted, our phone shows us this little padlock here. On the left side, top part. That means our phone is still locked. The screen also includes, and finally, the forgotten Gmail account. How are we going to be able to recover our device? To recover it, we always recommend watching the video. Step-by-step -step tutorial to help you troubleshoot and recover your device. In this video tutorial we will not be using a PC. I mean, sorry, in this video tutorial we're going to use a method by PC for those people who don't have a PC, see description. We have other methods in the video and in the first pinned comment. Completely different so you can troubleshoot and recover your device. How would the recovery of this device work? It's a very easy method, an updated method that you'll be able to access your device in a very easy and quick way. We're going to connect to a network of Wi-Fi before starting the recovery process. Previously we could enter from here, policy and privacy and we could access the device. But this function is now fully updated. Ada, it no longer lets us in, no way. Another option was that we used a locked Sinchar card with a PIN code. We would press the emergency number and it would show what it was, but it wouldn't. What was a little radio and from there we could enter. To our device, but since these devices have already been updated, they won't let us in, so what we're going to do is click here. We're going to connect to the Wi-Fi network and perform the recovery process. We are going to carry out this operation process. We're going to connect. We're going to connect here. Now what we're going to do is give our device the roots of that. You can see and appreciate that our device is fully locked because it also has a screen lock and finally the account forgotten gmail account there are many people who are always writing to us that they tell us that our method doesn't work because they tell us that that the device is not completely locked for those people who always write us that then why don't you watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial because we explain everything step by step so you can have which is access to your device so you can troubleshoot and recover it this way we'll wait a few seconds, as we told you. We will use a method via PC for those people who... Those who don't have a PC can access it through the video description and... In the first pinned comment, they can use the method without a PC. In this video tutorial we will explain everything in detail. All you're going to do is be able to do such a thing. As we explained in the video tutorial. Watch it step by step so you don't get lost. No details and you can solve it and recover. Your device. Here it's showing us the screen lock it had from the beginning. Here we're going to click where it says, use a Google account, or use my Google account. We also have the alternative here. If you reset it because you forgot your password. Here you will be able to log in with your email. Here it tells us to add an email address. We add the email address. We click next and then we add the password and it would give us access to our device. This would give us access to recover it in this way. The second option would also be to add a phone number. If you have the phone number associated with your Google account, you can add it here. It will send you a number, a recovery code. You're going to write it. That would also give you access but you don't need to enter your phone number here. Another thing I also want to tell you, 
Well, I'll explain it to you now that we're leaving the PC. I always recommend that you pay close attention. Please pay close attention from here, because it is very important. No, now before we run the program, we need to download it. It is always recommended to temporarily disable your antivirus, and why? It is recommended because if we don't run the program, it will affect the timing. The antivirus is not disabled, so the program will detect it as a virus. To save money and delete this, then what you have to do is see the video tutorial, step by step to the end. Okay, what we're going to do is go here. What is our antivirus? We'll go to our antivirus here in our antivirus. Let's go here to the left side. We click where it says virus and threat protection. Let's scroll down here. We click where it says manage settings here. In real time protection, we disable the first option. We deactivated this first option. After we deactivate it, we'll go to the browser here. I'm going to explain all the steps where you'll be able to download the tool. You can also find it in the video description or in the first pinned comment. You're going to write it exactly as it appears here on the screen. You're going to write here as David Sell says, exactly as it appears. You'll type it here and then the official page will appear. You'll also see David Sell or you'll usually see Android DTV. You will select whichever of the two options appears. This would take you to this section to be able to find many different methods. Here you will also go down and you will be able to find what this tool is. Here's the entry that says Apps Davidel. Ibisel applications here where you will be able to find that tool. Then you'll scroll down here and you'll find that tool. It will be here. You'll see several completely different methods, and you'll also be able to find it. If you want to apply these methods, you can see our methods. Here you will find the tool. Here you will be able to find it. Also the drivers, also the password. Since this tool has a password. Here we're going to tell you everything. Everything will be there. Anyway, we'll also explain how here. You will run the tool after you have extracted it. After you extract the tool, go here and right click on it. You're going to click here where it says, run as administrator. You're going to say yes, you're going to click next. Next, next, this will create this shortcut for you. The tool here would run automatically. In some cases, the antivirus sometimes detects that the antivirus will run the tool and blocks it if the tool blocks you i always recommend that you disable the antivirus again and run it again again the tool we're going to click here that's it here it gives us you're going to click here the tool will appear the tool will appear here now what you're going to do is click here on mediated here we will select our phone model brand, which is Xiaomi. It's a Xiaomi, so we're going to select the following. Let's select our reference. Here we'll select our reference. Mine is a Xiaomi Redmi A3. Let's select it here, done. Then I'm going to explain something here that's very important. Here on the right side we'll be able to find all the drivers. Select it according to your processor, and it's very important to select this one here. This last one that says lip USB, they're going to run that driver here, you'll see. If the driver is installed, click here where it says remove and then click next. Here you will see all the drivers. You will see if the driver is media to Qualcomm. Here at Unisoft, we have all this. Once it's installed, if it's not installed, you'll to go back, you're going to click here on install. What are you going to do? The recovery process when when you connect the device with the USB cable, it will appear. The driver will appear here quickly. This needs to be done fast. You select it, click install, and it will be installed automatically. Once you install it, 
your device will recognize it quickly. It would be recognized. Now what we're going to do is go here on duty. We're going to click here where it says reserve. We have these two options. This usually works. You're going to click here on the first try. Before selecting it, we're going to turn off the device. We turn it off. We wait 10 seconds until it is completely off. Then we press reset. Reset. Now what we're going to do here is simply connect the device. We connect it and let the program do its whole process. We're going to wait for the program to complete its entire recovery process. We hope. Here you can see that it has already been recognized. Here's the FRP reset successful message. If it doesn't work and the driver appears here, click on it and then click. After installing, the device will automatically restart on its own. Now that it has restarted on its own, what we're going to do now is wait for it to start up. Once our device has started, we will wait for it to take us to the home screen. What I always recommend is that when we we do this process and our phone ends up with some errors. It's normal for our phones to have errors. How do we correct these errors we just made? Okay, I'm going to explain what you're going to do and how you're going to solve it. You'll solve it this way, easily and quickly. If you follow our video step by step, these tutorials will help you solve these problems because our device has now fully recovered. But we still have some errors left. How do we correct these errors? I'll explain what you're going to do. You're going to click here on next. You're going to click here. You're going to click here. Then the option to assault will appear. You're going to skip it again here. I'm going to do it quickly because sometimes the video drops, the video cuts out. It drops here. Sometimes it happens because a link is sent to the device. Now what we're going to do is wait until we get to where it's going to appear. Create, add an account. If you have an account, it will ask you to add it. It will ask you to create a new account or skip the existing one. I always recommend omitting it because this is already. The device that has been recovered still has some errors. The screen might not fit, or it might not roll properly. It's going to be really slow, huh? When after a while it tells you that, uh, it tells you that the operating system is continuing. I'm having trouble with the apps. So what we're going to do is click here on jump. We click on jump. We click here on this pin. We also click on skip. We click on skip. We click here to accept. We click OK here. We wait a few more seconds here. It will take us directly to the start. How did we point out the mistakes? Like what we were telling him how to correct them. I'll explain the errors to you so you can solve this problem right away. That you follow step by step and can solve and recover your device. This way they will be able to solve this whole problem. This way we'll get started. Wait until it gets here to the start and then I'll tell you what you're going to do, too. We had told you, we had mentioned it from the beginning of the video for those. For people who don't have a PC, we have a method without a PC and also with a PC, different from this one. In the video description and in the first pinned comment for those people, they may have other additional methods here we can see. Here it took us to the beginning. So what are we going to do? We're going to go from adjustment to adjustment. We're going in the system and in the system we will find the option to reset our. We're going to reset the phone. And then when it's reset, we're going to configure it as. We just did it again. We do it again exactly as we did it before. That way it would be free of any errors.